Hi YouTube, uh, decided to do a video today, my daughter's going to help me with, it's um, basically some um, poured silver that I've been collecting over the last 12 months, and um, primarily it's the Engelhart poured silver, so I just wanted to share with you um, some of the pieces I got. So right there is a 5 ounce JM bar. And uh, I've managed to pick a few of these up. So that's one of them. That's the second one I got. And a third one. And then this one's a Silver Town 5 ounce. So they're pretty nice little bars, and um, they're the smallest ones that I have. Going on to 10 ounce, um, different kind of 10 ounces that I have, uh, these are the, called the waffle, they have that cooling, the cooling lines on the back that uh, basically give them the waffle name. So I managed to pick up about 15 of these, these are 10 ounce each, and uh, they've got a lot of character to them, you know, they're a lot, I don't, they don't make these anymore, and um, they're uh, a lot more interesting, I think, than the uh, regular 10 ounce bars that you can buy, like um, RCM or, you know, the other generic bars you can buy that are 10 ounce, new, newer style. I prefer these older ones for sure. Uh, luckily, oh, these the, this one's the extruded one, so these are like more machined, if you will. And, um,. Still 10 ounce, but they're, they're not as uh, rough and ready as the the waffle type. That's another extruded one. And then uh, I managed to find some that were consecutively numbered, which was a nice little touch. Uh, that one's there is uh, 4506. 4507 and 4508 and these are the waffle type so it's nice to have them consecutively numbered especially when they're so old and um, I try and keep them that way this one here is uh, 4520 and 4521 Uh, four four nine five and four four nine six. Okay, so the next ones I got are um, the Canadian type. They have the uh, little bull logo here, and if you go on allangleheart.com, they really give you an insight into. Um, the small little idiosyncrasies that make certain bars worth more than the other. Like this one in particular has the um, the decimal. It's called the floating decimal. Decimal points at the in the middle rather at the bottom. And that's just one of the small things that makes them worth more. Makes them more collectible. I guess it all boils down to how many were actually produced. So I've got that one. This one here, which is another um, bull logo, they're poured as well, they're not the um, extruded ones. This one here, these are all in the 171 range, they're not consecutive, but um, they're in a couple of hundred from each other. And um, <clears throat> the next one I got in particular is... Um, a really rare one in the sense that um, it has this A prefix on it and uh, according to all Engelhart they uh, produced only 200 of these with the A prefix and the idea is that they um, use the A so that they could replicate the same um, serial number 
just putting it by putting an A in front of it, then they could do. And presumably, they would have put a B and a C, but they only made 200 of these, and it's a really, really nice bar. And um, when you think about when these were minted, they probably weren't collected. They were probably just bought as being, um, you know, bullion silver for whatever purpose they were going to be designed for, melted down. So. 200 made probably only a handful of them still exist so that's my particular favorite one then we go to uh 20 ounce bars and this is a uh, jm 20 ounce it's um it's got the canadian uh, say stamp on it and again if you go on all angle heart they tell you how many these are minted i don't think these are as rare but they're certainly nice they're, you know it's 20 ounces of silver and uh Again, I, I just like the fact that there's um, they're older and then they're not being produced anymore. In fact, there's no more JM silver being produced. They've stopped manufacture now, but these ones are particularly older. So, uh, next one is another twenty ouncer and a um, little bit more character on this one. It's more more of a tarnish, if you will, or patina, as they call it. But they're really nice bars. Uh, next one we have is a 50 ounce Q tie, and it's um, again it's got the Canadian um, assay stamp on it right there. Let's try and get it focused. There you go. And then it's got the smaller 50 ounce um, marking on it, and then the JM crossed hammers at the top. That's a really nice bar. It's nice and thick, all poured. It's got that real nice sheen to it that uh, th these bars tend to have. The next one I have is uh, a really rare bar. It's a it's a hundred ounce bar, and it has it's a Johnson Matthey, and it has the um, Westway um, stamp on it as well. I tried to do some research and. All Engelhart say there's only a hundred of these produced. So uh, that being said, of course, how many that are in, um, you know, that, that weren't melted down really is going to be less than that. So it's um, a really you know, rare bar as far as I'm concerned. It's something that I really want to keep hold of anyway. But it's uh, a beautiful bar. It's got some really nice tone to it already. And... Uh, yeah, it's interesting how little subtleties make uh, some bars more uh, collectible than the others. And the last bar I have is a Canadian Bull Logo Engelhart 100 ounce. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and this one is, uh, again, 100 ounce and um, has the Bull Logo on it right there. And it's really a nice bar as well it's just this is, this is another one of the poured ones and um they just have a lot of character to them so feel free to add any comments down below or ask any questions i'm certainly not an expert but i'll endeavor to uh, give you any information i have on them but uh happy collecting thanks very much bye